Pickles. Happy new month. Yes. Happy joyous and jolly July to you. Yes. I bet you can't say that 10 times. Happy joyous and jolly July to you. This morning, I welcome you once again. Rather, this afternoon, I welcome you once again to our online series and today we'll be having our english grammar lesson the topic is contractions contractions again contractions learning objectives at the end of this lesson we should be able to explain the concept to expand and contract we should be able to explain what to expand and contract means. And secondly, we should be able to identify contractions in sentences. We should be able to identify contractions in sentences. And lastly, we should be able to contract words using the apostrophe to replace omissions. Omissions are missing things missing things so we should be able to contract words using the apostrophe to replace omissions pop quiz as usual you know i love to warm you up with some pop quiz what is the difference between ben cannot run fast and ben can't run fast what do you think is the difference between these two sentences ben cannot run fast and Ben can't run fast. What's the difference between these two sentences? I would love your answer right now. So pause this video and answer. But if you do not know the answer, it's okay. We'll find out as we go. So if you know the answer, if you have an idea of the answer, you can pause this video and send a voice note. But if you do not know the answer, it's okay. Let's just go dive right into our lesson. Let's dive in. The first activity. Now, I told you before this lesson to get a rubber band. So I hope you're with your rubber band right now. Hold your rubber band and stretch it wide. Let me see you do that. Can you see it? Yes, do this. Stretch it wide. What you have done is expand. You have expanded the rubber band. Now, let me see you expand the rubber band. Have you done that? Awesome. Now, release your hand on the rubber band. Have you done that? Very good. What you have done is to contract. So, expand means to stretch, to make something bigger. To contract means to make something smaller. Can you see the difference? Expand your rubber band again. Now, contract it. Very good. Very good. Can you see the difference? What is contraction? Now, the word contraction is from the smaller word to contract. Yes, that big word contraction is from a smaller word to contract. And what is the meaning of contract? To contract is to make a word shorter. To make a word shorter by using the apostrophe. Can you see the apostrophe? The apostrophe is this mark this mark that i have enclosed with a bracket so that's the apostrophe now guess what the apostrophe is actually a punctuation mark don't worry i'll show you what an apostrophe looks like so this is an example of an apostrophe so to contract is to make a word shorter by using the apostrophe in place of the omitted letter what do i mean by that let's take a look Look at this word, cannot, is a, is a word. I can make the cannot a shorter word by crossing out, by crossing out the letter N and O. I can cross out the letter N and O. Can you see it? I have crossed out the letter N and the letter O. Now, what would I do when I'm rewriting that word? To make it a contraction, I'll replace. So, that space where I remove letter N and O, I'll replace it with, a, with, a, with an apostrophe. Can you see the apostrophe now? So, after my C-A-N, instead of writing the N-O like before, I will replace it with an apostrophe. Can you see it? And then I write my T. This can't is a contraction. 
The cannot was a word, but this is the contraction of cannot, can't. Let's take a look at another example. Do not. That's another word. Two words for that matter. But guess what? I can make this word do not shorter. I can make it into a contraction. How do I do that? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just cross out the letters N and O. Okay, rather. Rather, let me undo that. We're crossing out the letter O only, not the letters N and O. Can you see? So I'll cross out my letter O. And now I'll replace my letter O with an apostrophe, like you can see. So the word do not has been changed to a contraction don't. Can you see the difference? So we have other examples here. I will, the same thing. I will cross out my W I. W I. I've crossed it out. And in place of my W I, I replace within with an apostrophe. Can you see my apostrophe? Awesome. Awesome. So these are examples. This I'll. I'll. So instead of saying, I will not be your friend, I'd rather say, I'll not be your friend. The word is I will. The contraction is I'll. Let's take some other examples now. Is not. Isn't. Isn't. That isn't for me. Did not. Didn't. I didn't go to school today. So you can see the word and the contraction. Can you see the word and the contraction? Awesome. Awesome. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay, sorry. Sorry for that. I want to end the pen. Yes. So let's move on. I'm sorry for that. Now, can you spot the contractions here? Spot the contractions if you can. I've never been to Lagos. I've never been to Lagos. What's the contraction here? Yes, you got it. I've. I've is the contraction. I've. We can't eat lunch now. We can't eat lunch now. What's the contraction here? awesome can't and lastly that isn't my book what's the contraction here isn't awesome very good so oh sorry for that yes i hope you've learned something today see you back in class